Speaking of goons, if you saw my last video, here's another one I believe is a goon. This guy right here, Zach Bauer, Zachary Bauer. Uh, saw this video of his here this morning, and it's he's got this weird T-shirt on, and you can't quite make out what it says down here at the bottom. <clears throat> but I can show you what it says. Right here. This Syret Matkel, or whatever. General Staff Reconnaissance Unit, or Unit 269, more commonly known as Syret Matkel, meaning Syret of the Matkel, is a, the prime Syret unit of the U Israeli dis uh, Defense Forces. So, I know he has a history in military. I don't remember what it was. Army, I think, or something. I don't know if it was military intelligence or whatever. My wife is from, you know, she's ex-military intelligence. Excuse me, intelligence. So she knows about a lot of this stuff. But uh, <clears throat> it's just crazy. And this guy here has come out with different videos attacking Steven Anderson. Steven Anderson exposed different things here that he's done. And I find it so funny that you get this guy underneath here, Ben the Baptist. And he says, uh, Zach Bauer is an unsaved heretic. And, you know, they'll come out and they'll, they'll get all foam at the mouth of the Jews and the Zionist Jews. But this guy right here is himself a Jew. Benjamin Naim is his real name. You know? Uh, the, see, the whole thing. I heard this years ago from some guy that's a black ops soldier and whatever else. And he said the two warring factions is Zionist Jews and fascist Catholics. Absolutely. I believe the guy was absolutely telling the truth. Those are the two warring factions. You have this guy here. He's supposedly a... Fat, oh, Baptist, <clears throat> fascist Catholic, in other words, but he's Jewish. He's kindredly a Jew, you know. And then you get this guy up here who's not a Jew, Zach Bauer. I don't believe is a, is you know Jewish bloodline. Maybe I'm wrong on that. I don't know. But uh, and he's coming out against Stephen Anderson, and yet he's wearing a T-shirt of Israeli special operations type of a thing. And it's funny because I posted a comment on this guy's video and. Comments gone all of a sudden. Kind of an interesting thing. And you say, what's the significance of all this? Well, the significance of it all is the fact that in the Bible, in the book of Daniel, chapter 9, there's a covenant that's confirmed. The Antichrist confirms it with many for one week. Okay? What's going on there? Well, if you understand things that are going on in the city of Jerusalem, there's a lot of covenants, a lot of agreements that have been done between the Roman Catholic Church and the Jews, the nation of Israel. And the nation of Israel has got all kinds of problems. I support the Jewish people. I love the Jewish people. But they are in some serious satanic scheming right now. Okay, that's why there's the time of Jacob's trouble. God's going to pour out his judgment on the nation of Israel. Jacob, in other words. I say this over and over and over again. Okay, I'm a friend to the Jewish people in the sense of I, I love them and I pray for them, but I'm not for what they're doing. And I realize God's wrath is coming upon them. They rejected their Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ, God of heaven and earth, the Lord of glory. Okay, so uh, understand this is what's being set up here. You get some guy that's, a, oh, look at me, I'm, I'm for the Zionist Jew thing, and, and I'm going against the Catholic, you know, fascist uh, right-wing Catholic like Stephen Anderson, and you get a Jew here, an actual physical Jew, and he's coming out against this guy. <laughs> it's just Catholics and Jews fighting. Interesting.